Hello everyone, welcome to our special Techno channel. Last session we learned you how to create advanced polygon styles by Joe Server. In this session we will talk around how to define styles for raster data in Joe Server. If you want to know more details about it, watch the rest of this video. Raster data type is a type of data that is represented by a grid of pixels or cells. Each cell represents a small area on the Earth's surface and has a value associated with it. This value could be anything from elevation, temperature, land cover, and etc. Raster data can be created from various sources such as satellite imagery, aerial photography, and digital elevation models. The raster layer used in this session is SFDM, one of the default layers of Joe Server that contains elevation data ranging from 1066 to 1840. As in previous sessions, we will start with a simple style and then move on to more complex examples. Two color gradient. Creating a color gradient in Joe Server style involves editing the layer style XML file. You can specify the range of colors, values, transparency, and other effects in order to apply it as a style to a map layer. Navigate to the style section from data menu and click on add a new style. Enter two color gradient in the name field and select SLD in the format field. Add the list of default style from a style content, select raster and click on the generate link. Scroll down and from the style editor box, press enter at the end of line 11, then add these codes as you see on the screen. Finally, click on Validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the Apply button. Switch to the Layer Preview section and click the layer name above the Preview box and select SFDM layer. There is one rule in one feature type aside for this example, which is the simplest possible situation. Now we will explain some elements. This example creates a two color gradient based on a color map with two entries on lines 12 to 15. Each entry in the color map represents one entry in the gradient. Line 13 sets the lower value of 1066 by the quantity parameter which is a style dark green. Line 14 specifies an upper bound of 1840 by the quantity parameter again which is styled yellow. All data values in between these two quantities will be linearly interpolated. For example, a value of 1453, the midpoint between 1066 and 1840 will be colored as the midpoint between the two colors. Click Save. Many color gradient with trans pattern. This example shows a gradient interpolated across five different colors with the blue at lower elevations and red at higher elevations. To do it, click on Add a new site, then enter many color gradient in the name field. From the existing site, select two color gradient and click on the copy link. text inside the name and title elements. Now add these codes as you see on the screen.
validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the apply button. Switch to the layer preview section and click the layer name above the preview box and select SFDM layer. To make a raster transparent in SLD, change the opacity to 0.4 at line 11, then click on the apply button. Opacity value of 1 means 100% opaque, while 0 means completely transparent. Opacity of 0.4 makes the raster partially take on color and style of background. On a white background, color map generates light colors, but on a dark one, it produces darker shades. Click Save. This grid colors. This example shows a gradient that is not linearly interpolated, but instead has values mapped precisely to one of the specific colors. To do it, click on add a new style, then enter discrete colors for its name. From the existing style, select many color gradient and click on the copy link. Edit the text inside the name and title elements. Then edit the color map as you see on the screen from line 12. Click on validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the apply button. Switch to the layer preview section and click the layer name above the preview box and select SFDOM layer. Sometimes color bands in discrete steps are more appropriate than a color gradient. The type intervals parameter added to a color map on line 12 sets the display to output discrete colors instead of a gradient. The values in each entry correspond to upper bound for the color band such that colors are mapped to values less than the value of one entry but greater than or equal to the next lower entry. Therefore, the blue color corresponding to the value of 1066 or minimum value is not displayed. Now set this value to 1100 as you see on the screen, then click on apply button. Switch to the publishing section and click on the SFM flag to make this style the default for that layer. Click Save. Alpha Channel. An alpha channel is another way of referring to variable transparency. It works similarly to a gradient where each value in color map can be assigned an opacity value, with one being the default and indicating completely opaque. To do it, click on add a new style, then enter alpha channel for its name. From the existing style, select discrete colors and click on the copy link. Edit the text inside the name and title elements. the color map tree as you see on the screen from line 15. Click on validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the apply button. Switch to the layer preview section and click the layer name above the preview box and select the septum layer. The value of 1453 or yellow color is completely transparent with 0% opacity as shown on the screen. Considering the background color is white, the effect of the alpha channel may not be clearly visible. To improve understanding, let's create a layer group and add both the SFDM and both image layers as you see on the screen. Click Save, then navigate to Layer Group section. Click on Add a new layer group. Enter alpha group for its name and title. Scroll down and from layer section, click on add layer link, then select SFDM layer.
Click the Generate Bonds button to compute the bonding box and coordinate reference system of the SFDOM layer. Click the Add layer again. Then enter what IMG store at the search box and select its layer. Click on green up arrow to move towards the HYP layer on top. Then click Apply button. Navigate to Layer Preview section and open the Layer Preview map for Alpha Group. Your map should be as shown on the screen. Now to view the effect of this style, change the SFM style to Alpha Channel from this layer group and click on Save. Go back to Layer Preview Map. After zooming in and out, you can now see that the yellow color is entirely transparent. Now you understood the usage of the Alpha Channel style. You can also use this style to filter null values or no data is in satellite image. In this session, we taught you how to create different types of styles for raster data using Joe Server. It's our pleasure that you subscribe to our channel and watch the videos. Also, if you would like to know more information about defining polygonal styles in Joe Server, we recommend you to watch the suggested videos. Have a great time!